Hi guys, it's Inam Gafour here with the Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone. In a previous video, I showed you how you can install Android Jelly Bean 4.1 on this device. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can root it and get root access back. So I'm just going to go to settings and then about to just show you what I'm running at the moment. And you've got the model number there as being GT-R9300. So if you have any other model number apart from the one that I have there, this process will not work for you. So don't even try it because you will ruin and break your device. You can see I'm running Android version 4.11 Jelly Bean. You've got the baseband version there showing as i9300 XX DLIB. Okay, so what we're going to do first things first, go back one, go into the settings and then go to developer options and just make sure USB debugging is on. You can see there's a tick there, so that's excellent. Now I will mention that modifying the software from the manufacturer specifications does void the warranty. So Again, if you don't want to avoid the warranty, don't go through this process. This is purely for informational purposes only. So if anything goes wrong, it's at your own risk. I've got the CF root file and it's on my desktop on my PC and I'll show you that in a second. But after we've put the phone into USB debugging mode, what we need to do is switch the phone off and get it into download mode. So we'll just switch that off and it doesn't take too long to switch off. Luckily the Galaxy S3 doesn't. So that's now off. So all you need to do is a volume down rocker, power button and the home button all together simultaneously and it'll go to download mode. So we'll get those pressed and there you go. It's in download mode there. So it gives you a warning saying you're going into modify the software, blah, blah, blah. blah. So I'm going to click continue there. There we go. That's in download mode there. So what you need to do now is plug in your USB cable to your computer. That's now connected. Over on the desktop here, you can see that I've downloaded the CF root in the top right of the screen and it's called, the exact file name is cf-root-sgs3-v6.4.zip. That's how it downloads. So what you need to do is extract the file. So I'm going to double click it and that will bring up a WinZip as I have here. So you've got WinZip here. I'm going to do one click on zip. So it just unzips it to my folder and then get rid of it. There you go. It just opens up the folder that it's extracted and you can see it's got the file there being cf-root-sgs3-v6.4.tar so in the zipped file is this file which ends in .tar and that's the file that we need so I'm going to do is just cut that out and just leave it on my desktop I'll get rid of that as well so here we go I'll leave it just along right at the top next to the ode in there so that's a .tar file I've put on the desktop. Next thing we need to do is load up Odin. I've got it in the top right here, so I'll just run that. Now you can see as it's loaded straight away, there's a yellow box in the, in the left-hand side of the screen just symbolizing that the phone is connected and Odin is recognizing it. If you don't get the yellow box, then disconnect the phone, reinstall the drivers, and then see if it connects. If you don't get the yellow box, that means Odin's not going to talk to your phone and it's not going to root it. So next thing we need to do here, just make sure all the tick boxes are as standard and the only ones ticked are the auto reboot and the reset time ones. Okay, well, next thing we need to do is go down to what it says, a PDA button, just make sure there's a tick next to it. Hit the PDA button and then what you need to do is locate the file that you downloaded and extracted and remember that was the one ending in .tar. So I'll put it on my desktop. So I'll go to my desktop there and hit it is the CF root uh, at the end .tar hit open and then it puts a path in there then you're ready to rock all you need to do is hit start this process is fairly quick as you can see on the phone it goes through remarkably quick you can get it done under a minute or so once it starts doing it and you can see the phone starts rebooting there and Odin says it's got a green pass which means it's successfully flashed the device and we can disconnect the phone from the computer now so I'll get rid of Odin first of all there and plug the phone from the computer so it's no longer connected. The phone will boot up as normal as it does there. It said the routing process was successful so I should have root access when I go back. And it says Android is upgrading, starting apps. There you go, and that's done. So I'll just swipe through into it. I'll give it a second to settle down looks like it's already connected up to my Wi-Fi. As the phone settles down there, what we'll do is load up an application that uses root access just to prove that the root access worked. So in this case, I'm going to use Titanium Backup. And you can see it says asking for root access. It quickly flashed up and disappeared. 
If I just bring that in a little bit closer so you can see it, the first point on the list there states root access and there's a green tick next to it, just symbolizing that the application asked for root access and it acquired it fine. The phone provided it with root access with no problems at all. If they did have any issues, it would come up with a red X there and a little error message in the middle of the screen. But that just shows that the root process has worked on this occasion with the Samsung Galaxy S3 here running Android Jelly Bean 4.1. Any questions or comments that you guys have got, hit them up down in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe from the button up top there. It doesn't cost you anything and it's totally free. And you can check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day and we'll see you next time.